There are now 18 vaccines in human trials worldwide, including this one from Pfizer and BioNTech. It was tested on 24 healthy volunteers in the United States. Early data suggests they all developed antibodies to fight the virus. Researchers are optimistic. Those antibody levels are, are pretty high. They're actually higher than what's being seen in patients who have had COVID-19 and recovered. So, uh, so that's exciting. This drug and almost half the other front runners are gene-based vaccines. They use DNA or RNA, the genetic building blocks from the virus. Like all vaccines, they give the immune system a sneak peek at the invader. Traditional vaccines inject a weak or dead piece of it so the immune system can develop antibodies to attack it. But DNA or RNA vaccines offer instructions to your body to build a piece of the virus itself. It's like you give the message in Morse code or in a language that the cell will be able to translate. Genetic information directs your body to make a small part of the coronavirus, like those outer spikes. Once built, they can't make you sick, but they can show the immune system a piece of the enemy. DNA and RNA are newer, promising technology that is, it's, uh, in, from my perspective, it's very exciting to see them move forward. Gene vaccines can be produced relatively quickly. After all, your body is doing most of the work. But it's not clear if these vaccines will actually protect people. They have worked in dogs, but no DNA or RNA vaccine for humans has made it to market. It's early stages yet, and we're, we're in it for the long haul. And the, the important thing is that uh, the safety of these vaccines is paramount. The long haul could be months or several years, but the search for answers to this pandemic could lead to a brand new generation of vaccines. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.